This conference will now be recorded. All right, good morning. Day one of week five, and it is upper body and core, you guys. So we're just going to start with a warm up. And it's going to just be some nice torso rotations. So I'm just pivoting my back toe, arms are out. My belly button is the spine. I have a really strong core as I'm rotating. Going a little bit further now. Nice deep breaths. All right, now we are going to reach. So same motion, just adding that long arm reach across, keeping the shoulders back and down. All right, let's reach it a little bit further. So a nice little small bend in the knee, reach it across. <coughs> reach it up, up and over. Strong core to help side bend. Back down across with the arm reach. Front heel with a bicep curl. So a little bend in the standing knee. And if you want, now you can add light weights. Since it is week five, you can do really light dumbbell curls here, or just keep it body weight. Tap it back, extend at the triceps. Tap the toe, so same thing if you had your weight. Nice light weights, or body weight. Okay, one more of each, so back in the front. Toe tap, bicep curl. Keeping that core strong, you guys, so bring that belly in. And you're not sucking it in so you can't breathe. It's just that core engagement. Okay, tap it back. Extend the arms back and really squeezing your triceps when you extend your arms. All right, we're going to go into a side crunch. So arms up, bringing the knee to elbow, alternating sides. If you're just joining, we're still warming up. A couple more. Crunch it over to the side. Elbow to knee. All right, arm circles forward. So we don't want to shrug our shoulders. Keep them relaxed. Keep your arms up at shoulder height. Reverse that, going back. Still keeping a really strong core. All right, one more time, forward. So forward arm circles, up at shoulder height. Even with just your body weight, starting to burn. Keep them up there, you guys. Reverse it, going back. Good, and then we'll end with those rotations again. Pivoting your back toe. Okay, you guys, quick drink. Okay, here's our first set. If you didn't catch it a little earlier, Three exercises. First one is push-ups into a side plank. So we're going to rotate. Then we're going to grab our towel and do our lat pulls. 
and then prayer crunch down on the ground. And the last exercise is core, and it's going to be for one minute in each circuit. So one minute of crunches and 14 reps of the first two. So push-ups, so come on down to the ground. Or you can stay at an incline, easier option with your chair. So push up to side plank. So either from your knees or toes. So we're gonna do a push up. And then if you're on your knees, you're just gonna have to come up and rotate to side. Or you can just rotate with that bottom knee down. So if you're up on your toes, it's gonna look like push up, roll into side plank, come back down, push up, side plank. Okay, so if you're on a chair, same thing. Push up, just rotate it over, side plank. All right, so 14 total. So here we go, knees or toes. Remember, push up, elbows come back a little, not out. Here we go, one, and then pick a side, side plank. Just a quick little hold, back down, two, rotate it over. Side plank. Three. Rotate. Four. Rotate in between each one. Five, or you're rotating on that knee. Okay. Down for six and rotate. Seven. Bottom knee can stay down. Eight, we got 14, you guys, stay strong. Nine, top arm comes up. 10, four more. 11, make sure your butt drops down if you're on your knees. 12, last two, 13, and down and up and rotate. For 14. All right, drop to those knees. Quick break. Grab your towels. So if you have your bath towel, ideally I want you on your belly and you're going to be doing a lat pull. So arms straight out and you're going to bring them up and pulling apart on that towel and down to your chest and back up. If you can't or don't want to lay on your belly, you can stay up either seated, but really focus on pulling apart and down on that towel. You can also have um, weights either seated and you're just gonna go slow. So you're focusing on that negative on the down. Same thing, you can have weights on your belly. It's a lot more challenging. 14 reps, you guys. So if you can come down to the ground, you can keep your toes down, arms up straight ahead, and we're gonna pull apart and bring it down to your chest for one, and back up. Gaze stays down on the floor. Three, you're pulling apart and down to your chest. We have 10 more for 14 total, you guys. So do it at your own pace. It should be slow and controlled. Breathe. Squeeze your glutes. Helps with your low back. Couple more for 14 total. I think I have four more, so one, two, pulling apart on that towel, three, and four. Whew. All right, push it up, flip it over. This way. All right, one minute to get my timer. Prayer crunches. So lying on your backs, and I want your soles of your feet to come together, so your knees are gonna go out to the side, and hands are gonna stay together. 
and you're just going to reach through like your hands in a prayer position. Reaching through and back up. Reaching through and back down. One minute, you guys. So if you want to come all the way up for a sit-up, harder option. Or you can just keep it small range right here. Just really focus in, pulling with your core. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. We have one minute. So crunch it up and bring it back down. Crunch it up. Bring it back down. We just want your hands to go right through your knees. So a little crunch and back down. So we're pulling with our abdominals. Harder option, you can do a sit up. Okay? So you can crunch it up all the way. Just try not to use momentum. So slow it down, use your strength. We're not throwing ourselves up or down. Nice work, you guys. We're more than halfway done. Little range here. Or you can sit it up with control. Last five, four, three, two, one. And hug those knees in. Relax your neck. All right, roll to your side and you can stay down because we got push ups again. So, second round of four. So, push ups. Chair. Staying on your knees or your toes. Just make sure you have a nice strong plank so your butt stays down, not up. All right, so push up into a side plank. Here we go. One, and you can roll it over to your knee. Two, other side. Three, four. Ten more, or you're up on your toes. Five. Keeping your feet staggered if you're up on your toes. Six. Two, just rolling it over. Seven. Eight. Nice job, you guys. We're almost there. Nine. Stay strong. Four more. 11, side plank in between, 12, two more. Try to stay with me or at your own pace. Last one, side plank, drop to those knees, quick rest. Quick drink if you guys need it, grab your towels. Back to lat pulls. All right, I'll do this set on the chair. So if you're here, same thing, arms up, and you're pulling apart. Nice flat feet, strong core. Pull it down, and then back up. The up doesn't really matter too much, but pull out, engage your, your back and core. Two, pull it down. Pull it apart and down. Four. Same thing if you're on your belly. Five. Try to bring your elbows down to your side. Six. Seven. Think about the big back lat muscles working here. Eight. Nine. Breathe, you guys. 10, 11, 12, pulling apart is key, 13, and last one, 14. All right, on your backs, prayer crunches, we're here for a minute, nice quick break, deep breath, try to keep your feet soles together. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Hands together. Little motion here. 
and you're pulling with those abdominals. To make it more challenging, you can do a sit up. Do not use your momentum. So all your strength, very controlled. Or a little crunches here. Nice job, you guys. 30 seconds left. Hands together, reaching through your knees. Last 10 seconds. Finish up strong. Five, four, three, two, one. And hug those knees in. Relax your neck. All right, quick break if you guys need. Grab your waters. You're ready for your third set, push-ups. All right, you guys know the deal. Here we go. Down for one and rotate. Two, other side. Three. Four. Try to get 14 total. Five, either on your toes, or you're just rotating on that bottom knee. We've got seven, so seven more. It's nine. 10, 11, Woo. Keep, keep it going you guys, two more, down and up, side plank, last one, side plank, drop to those knees, quick breather, Nice deep breath. All right, towels, lap poles. I'm gonna go down to my belly. So I'm keeping my toes down on the ground. And I'm squeezing my glutes to help keep my low back up, to help keep my chest up. Arms out, you guys, pulling apart and down. One, two, Three, four, five, six. I'm pulling with my back. Seven more. Eight. I'm squeezing my glutes. And my core is strong. Belly to spine, protecting that low back. Add two more. Reach it out. Bring it in. And 14 total. Flip it over, one minute of prayer crunches. Soles of the feet are together. I'm gonna lie down, hands together, and I'm gonna reach through my knees. Here we go, you guys. Three, two, one, go. So a little movement. Really feel that you're pulling right here with your core and then release. So pull and release. A harder option again is a controlled sit up. Reach it up. 30 seconds left. And then one more round, you guys. Keep up the good work. Reaching it through. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees 
breathe in. All right, quick jig. One more round. And then the next circuit is only two rounds. Tricep, bicep. All right, let's finish this one. All right, I'll do push-ups on the chair this time. If that's where you guys are and you wanna make sure you're doing it right. So find your push-up position. Here we go, down and up, and then you're gonna rotate. One. You can also do this from your knees and still rotate over. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Try to get your chest all the way down there. Eight, nine, couple more. Ten, eleven. Two more. Last one. 14 total, you guys. All right, I'm gonna stay up here for lap pulls. Grabbing your towel and we're pulling apart. Nice deep breath. Arms up. Either your toes are on the ground or feet flat. Pull apart and down your chest. One. Two. Three. All the way up. Overhead. In between. Five. Pulling with those legs. Six. Seven. Nine strong cores, you guys. Four more. Pulling apart, pull apart. And finish up after 14. All right, last minute of prayer crunches. Flip it over. Soles of the feet together. Nice deep breath. Lie on your backs. Get ready, three, two, one, go. Reach it through. Remember you're pulling with your abdominals. Pull it up, control it down. If you can do a controlled setup, it's gonna be a little harder to get that full range. Try to keep your knees out. Breathe. Shoulders are down. Okay, not creeped up at your ears. We're more than halfway. 20 seconds to go. Pulling with your core, you guys. Up and relax. Palms together. Reach it through. Five, four, three, Two, one, hug those knees in. Woo, nice job, you guys. Grab a drink. We're done with that. All right. Next little circuit, another three exercises, but we're moving on to triceps and biceps. And that third is always gonna be a little core work. So we're doing tricep dips and we're adding a toe touch and then wide bicep curls. And everything is one minute, but another three rounds, or sorry, only two rounds here. So we're kind of going back from back and chest to tricep bicep. Back and chest, tricep, bicep. All right? 
How are we doing? You guys have any questions or comments? No news is good news. <laughs> okay, over to your table or chair. Tricep dips, elbow stay in. So we're adding a toe touch, so down. And then we're gonna get on one arm and reach that toe. Okay, tricep dip and reach that toe. Modification, you're gonna stay on the ground and you're gonna go here. So tricep dip and then keep and reach. So you're gonna have a shorter range to reach and to dip from there. So easier option. And of course, there's always an extra harder option, whether you're on your on the ground or your chair, you can extend your leg. So the longer your leg is, the harder that toe reach is gonna be. So one minute, you guys, three, two, one, go. Dips and reach. Dips and reach. So you can keep your knee bent and reach your toe or extend it up. Try to push with your triceps more than through your heels, but you can use your heels to assist you. Halfway already. Dips, toe touch. So if you're on the ground, same thing. Put your butt is up, dips, toe touch. Just a smaller range here. You're safer and closer to the ground. Keep it up, you guys. This is an arm burner. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, grab your cans or medium weights. Two objects for wide bicep curls. So remember, we have another minute. So the heavier your object is, the harder it's gonna be, but I want you guys to stay with it for a minute. So arms out, instead of your traditional right in front, we're going into a W. So a wide bicep curl, three, two, one, here we go, palms out, slight bend in the knee, strong cores. So an easy to challenging weight, because you have 60 seconds. Elbows stay close to your body, making that W, but the elbows stay close. Halfway, 30 seconds to go. Strong cores. Nice job, you guys. Pulling with your biceps. Shoulders are back and down. So as many reps as you can do, you can take a rest. You can go as slow as you'd like. You can go as fast as you'd like, but with control and good form. Last five, four, three, two, one, put those weights down. All right, come down to the ground. We're gonna go all fours, so hands and knees. <sighs> nice deep breath, bird dog. So we're gonna reach opposite arm and leg, long, and we're gonna just alternate sides. So reaching it long as possible, and I'm lifting my back leg with my glute. Okay, and I'm not dropping my belly, so don't arch your back. Nice flat back, three, two, one, go. Reach it long, and then back down and switch. So hands and knees, but one arm and one leg reaches out. Opposite arm, opposite leg, keeping it nice and controlled, reaching it long. Focus on that balance. Work in your breath. Again, don't arch your back here. 
So pull that belly in, nice flat back, more than halfway. So about 20 seconds to go, you guys, alternating. Reach it long. I'm lifting my leg with that glute right here, squeezing back down. Try to keep your gaze down. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, quick drink. Nice work, you guys. We're halfway through class. And this set's only two rounds, so we got one more round. All right, tricep dips. Chair, table, or you're down to the ground. Elbows stay in so we're not winging them out. They stay back, and we're adding that toe touch in between. So one minute, get ready. Three, two, one. Go! Dips. Reach for that opposite toe. Elbows stay in. The longer your leg is, the more you're going to reach and the harder it's going to be. Try to use your triceps right there to push up. If you need, you can push with your heels to add or to take off some of that resistance. More than halfway. Try to use your arms for the most part. Nice job, you guys. Down and reach it out. We have 10 seconds. Couple more. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo. Grab your weights. Wide bicep curls. Palms up. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Slight bend in the knee. My feet are a little wider than hip width. Wide bicep curls. Elbows stay close. We're only doing two rounds. When we do triceps and biceps again, then we have the four sets. So we're alternating muscle groups and alternating the sets and reps. Nice job, you guys. 20 seconds left. Come on. Okay, we don't want to lean and pull. So that's where our core pulls in, stays really strong. So a slight forward lean if you need. Three, two, one, rest. All right, bird dogs, hands and knees. And if you have a stability ball, like a big, big ball, and you can't kneel, you can put the ball underneath your belly so it takes your knees off the ground. If you're having trouble kneeling, you can put a pillow underneath there. All right, you guys, one minute, we're alternating our reaches. Three, two, one, here we go. Keeping a nice neutral spine. So from the tip of your head to your tailbone, try to keep that as neutral as you can. And neutral does mean that there's a slight lower back curve. That's fine because that is neutral, but it's not so far that you're straining and hurting your back. 30 seconds. Reach it long, you guys. Squeezing that glute. Reach your hand long. Use that posterior chain. Reach it long. Breathe. This can be quite challenging 
If you're engaging everything you should, last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Quick drink, you guys. Nice work. All right, that was our two rounds. All right, we are going back to um, chest and back, but we do have tricep push-ups, so we're gonna use a little bit of our triceps again. So instead of your traditional push-ups, elbows stay really close to your body, tricep push-ups. Pull-overs, which are lying on your back with that bag or heavier weight, and then scissor leg drops for the one minute. This set is again, just two rounds, one minute, because we already did chest and back for four sets. So now we're gonna do it for two. So come down to the ground or have that chair for your modification. So first option, super easy or easier, elbows in, knees, tricep push-ups. You can also come up here Okay, a little easier than the ground, but still challenging. Tricep push-ups, elbows stay close. And we have one minute. All right, so if you're on the ground, knees or toes, I recommend knees, but kudos to you if you can do it on your toes for a minute. Nice deep breath, here we go. Three, two, one. Go, elbows tight in and up. We're here for a minute. It doesn't matter how many you do. If you are sick and tired of going up and down and it's really challenging, hold a plank. I just want you to do something for this minute. So try those tricep push-ups down and up. You can take a break, you can sit it back, breathe. All right, or maybe you're here, incline. Still dropping that butt in, down and up. More than halfway, you guys. Elbow straight in. Squeezing your triceps when your arms are straight. So squeeze those triceps. We're almost there, last 10 seconds. Nice work, you guys. Gaze is down, breathe. Three. Two, one, rest. All right, flip it over and grab that bag if you don't have weights. So it should kind of be a heavy bag or a heavier weight. A child will work as well. So if you have a small child and you hold them up overhead. So pullovers, we're lying on our back. Weight goes right up overhead and then, or up over our face and then overhead and back up. So the key is don't lift and arch your back. Keep that low back down. So if your hand shouldn't go through. All right, one minute you guys. Three, two, one, go. Up over your face. And then over your head, arms straight, pull it back. Reach it up. And back over your face. The lighter the object or weight, the easier it's going to be. So we're using lats and then our core to pull back in. Breathe. Halfway. Nice job, you guys. Up over. And then over your face. Pull it up. Don't let that low back come off the ground. Keep your arms straight. Last five, four, three, two, one. And set that down. Stay on your backs. So we have scissor leg drops. So 
They're going to go cross as you drop and then back up. Okay, easier option, stay here with your knees bent. Knees bent, easier option, harder option, lift your legs straight. You can also relax your neck, but again, keep that low back down. Here we go, one minute, three, two, one, go. Arms out at your side. So bring it down and then back up. Or your knees are bent and you're just doing it here. Push down, so kind of hollow out that belly or you can relax your neck. Or your legs are straight. Halfway. So little scissors down. And up. The longer your leg is, the harder it's going to be. So down and up. Down. 10 seconds. Or your legs are straight. Keep your low back down, you guys. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. Woo, nice job, you guys. One more round. So this is only a two set. Flip it over. Tricep push-ups. Nice work, you guys. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So nice plank position. Elbows stay in. Gaze is down, down and up. Squeezing your arms straight, so squeeze those triceps in the back. You can take a quick break. Come on back. We have one minute to do as many as you can do. Keep those elbows in. Try to come all the way down, push it back up. Stay on those knees, toes is so much harder, but if you can and you want that challenge, try it, you guys. 15 seconds left and then we're done with this one. Last 10. Keep going, you guys, strong cores. Three, five, four, three, two, finish up. One, done. Whew. Flip it over. Pull over, so heavy object up overhead. One minute, you guys. Nice quick break, nice deep breath. Here we go, lie down, keep your feet flat. Weight up over your face. Here we go, reach it up overhead and back up. Over, flat back. Breathe, you guys, work in your breath. Inhale and exhale as you pull up over. Feet flat. Using your core to pull it back. Halfway. Nice work, you guys. Couple more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, set that down. Stay on your backs. We have those leg drops, and we're adding. The scissor. So alternating one leg on top and then the other. Same thing. You can do it with your knees bent. Get ready. 
Last minute here, you guys. Go. Your neck can stay relaxed. But try to keep your low back down. So I like to lift my head up. I'm pulling with my core. I'm crushing my low back down. Arms stay down at the ground. And breathe. Come on, stay focused. Try to finish up strong. Nice job, you guys. 20 seconds to go. Breathe. Keep your low back down. 10 seconds. Do what you guys can do. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. Nice job, you guys. All right, little break. Take your time getting up, or if you don't even want to, if you have everything around you, you can stay right there. All right, how's everyone doing? We got a couple more to do. Thumbs up, nice job, Paula. Okay, so we're back to triceps and biceps. This is four rounds. Single arm tricep extension, hammer curls, and then standing drivers for one minute. All right, we have 14 reps of each and then the core. Okay, single arm tricep extension. You're gonna come down to one knee and other leg up. If you can't kneel on your knee, you can stay here. Okay, we're gonna do single arm tricep extension and we're gonna keep our elbow up. So you can do this again, like you can rest one hand on here. You're a little bit more stable with your knee on the ground if you can. So 14 each side, we're gonna bring our elbow up, stay close and we're gonna extend and squeeze. So I want you to use a lighter object or weight so you can get that full squeeze and extension. I'm using a five and this is gonna get hard. Okay, so elbow up, extend and squeeze. We have 14, one, two, three. I'm squeezing right here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We're gonna do our other side, the next set. Hammer curls, a little heavier weight. Come on up, or you have your two objects. Hammer curls, so palms stay close, or in, and elbows stay close. So 14 here, so slight bend in the knees, shoulder roll, belly button in, all the way up, all the way down. Two, palms stay facing each other. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, control it down, all the way straight. Nine, 10, we're not swinging them around. 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, stay there, so stay standing, light to medium weight. I'm gonna grab my fives to start. Or you have your bag, and we are on for one minute, standing drivers. So a little shoulder burn. We're just gonna rotate like you're kind of driving that steering wheel. 
One minute, you guys. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. So slight bend in the knee, strong core. So use a weight that you can hold up at shoulder height. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. If you have that bag, same thing. You're just holding it out and rotating. Halfway, 30 seconds. Nice job, you guys. Keep your arms up. Slight bend in the knees. Breathe. It's getting tough. Woo, last 10. We got this. Keep them up there. Keep them up. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Woo. All right. Single arm. Tricep extension, but the other side. So again, you can stay kneeling. We're gonna keep that elbow up the whole time and squeeze straight and control it down. Or you can come on up, same thing here. Here we go, 14, one, two, squeeze your triceps, three, control, four, elbow up, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just bending at the elbow. Twelve, fifteen, and fourteen. Whew. All right, hammer curls. Quick drink if you guys need. Swap out your weights. Slight bend in the knees, nice shoulder roll. Okay, belly in, hammer curls, palms stay in, and my elbows stay close. Here we go, you guys. Six, seven, 14, total, eight, nine, we're not swinging it around. 10, 11, 12, 13, and last one, 14. All right, I'm sticking with the fives. One minute, standing drivers. Whew, here we go, three, two, one, Go up to shoulder height, slight bend in the knee, strong cores. Drivers, keep those arms or shoulders away from your ears so you don't want to creep up. Stay relaxed and breathe. Come on, you guys, we got this. Halfway, 30 seconds to go. Woo. If you need, you can drop, take a breath, bring it right back up. Come on, you guys, stay with me. Stay strong. This is not easy. Come on, last five, four, three, two, one. Done. Whew. All right, we've got two more rounds. My arms are shaking as I drink my water. All right, back to your first arm. Single arm, tricep extension. Remember, we're gonna keep our elbow up. My shoulders are down, so I'm not open and extending. 
So my shoulders are lined with my hips, my gaze is down. Here we go, elbow up, squeeze it straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing 14 total again. 10, 11, squeeze it straight, 12, 13, and 14. All right, we'll do our other side at the last set. Hammer curl, swap out your weights. Go a little heavier. Deep breath, shoulder roll. 14, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Try not to swing them. Keep control the whole time. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one more. Fourteen. Whew. Still sticking with those fives. For sure. Definitely not going heavier. Drivers again. Get ready, you guys. Three, two, one. Here we go. Arms out. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Belly in and breathe. Nice job, you guys. We got one more round after this. Woo, halfway. Come on, keep it up there. Take a quick rest if you need it. Keep those arms out as straight as you can. A little bend in the elbow is good. What I don't want you here, I don't want you falling down. So come on, keep them up. 10 seconds to go, we got this. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Whew. All right, last round. Other arm for tricep extension. Here we go. Elbow stays in and up. Squeeze it straight. So I want you to use a weight that you can do this with that full range right here. And pretty easy but challenging at the end. I got seven more. So finish up after 14 total. Hammer curls. Deep breath. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job, you guys. Nine and ten. Last four. Pull with your biceps, 13, and last one, 14. Whew. Okay. These sneaky little shoulder burners. This is going to bring us right to 1030. I have one more little circuit to work the shoulders a little bit more. <laughs> if you want to stay on, feel free. I'm going to do it. So here we go, you guys. Three, two, three. One, go. So if you want to finish up after this, or I have a little extra shoulder work, breathe. If this is your last minute, keeping your core strong, stay focused, try to finish strong. Keeping those arms up, you can ditch that weight and do the same motion. 
by just holding your arms up is still challenging. 30 seconds to go. Okay, I'm not leaning back. I'm a little forward. Woo! All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Whew. Nice work, you guys. My water bottle was just shaking. <laughs> okay, here's our little bonus round. It shouldn't take too long. Three rounds, 30 seconds each. So it's a lat raise, but I call them swimmers. I'll show you. And then we have upright row to overhead press. Okay, so 30 seconds each. Three rounds. We're gonna go a little over time. Grabbing those fives or really light weights. Those shoulders are already burning. So swimmers, you're gonna come up and over and then up and over again. I don't want you guys to rest. So keep tension, so like stop right there. Stop right there, okay? But you're not going all the way up, just to shoulder height. 30 seconds, go. So up and over, stopping. Stopping before you get to your body so that you keep that tension. Shoulders down, breathe. This is only 30 seconds and we have already five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, I'm gonna keep the fives, but you can swap out. Next is upright row. When we get here, we rotate up, press, rotate down. So I'm rotating down. I guess down here and then up. So rotate, press, reverse, and down. 30 seconds, go. Upright row, overhead press, rotate down. Woo! My shoulders are on fire. All right, you guys, already 10 seconds left. We got this. Rotate it down. Last five, four, three, two, one, and done. Finish up. All right, set those right down. Whew. Quick little arms. Shake it out, you guys. Two more rounds. So two more minutes of work. All right, back to those swimmers. Again, this can be no weight, okay? This is a shoulder burner, so we're feeling it. All right, 30 seconds, swimmers, go! So keeping the tension, so don't come to rest, and then flop. So nice and controlled, and then right back up forward, right back out wide, halfway. And I'm not going any higher than my shoulder, I'm stopping right there, and back down. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Deep breath. So swap your weights if you want. I'm not. I recommend sticking with a weight that you can do everything with proper form, still keeping your core strong, not arching your back. So this is when we don't want to have injuries, okay? Here we go. We're getting tired. So just do what you can do. Upright row, overhead press, and down. 
rotate it back. So lots of shoulder rotation. So take it slow, upright row, rotate and press. That press should not be out here. So keep it strong, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Set those weights down. One more round, you guys. One minute to go. Shake it out. Nice deep breath. Let's grab a quick drink. If you can hold your water bottle. All right, you guys. Get ready, swimmers. Three, two, one, go. Nice and controlled. Keeping that tension, so stop before you get all the way down. Right there when you want to set them down, go. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, 30 seconds, you guys. We got this. Get ready. Upright row to overhead press. Deep breath, three, two, one, go. Upright row, press it up and reverse that. Belly button to spine, we're not arching your back as it gets really heavy to press overhead. Halfway, 15 seconds to go, you guys. Nice work. Thanks for staying with me for this last burn, five. Four, three, two, one. Finish with that press and reverse. Woo! Nice work, you guys. We are done. Shake it out a little bit. Stretch it out if you guys have time. All right. You guys, Wednesday, this week is a little different. Um, Wednesday is full body strength and cardio. Yeah, strength and cardio. So, and then Friday will be just lower body strength. 